also a lot of more people in the kitchen. They're cooking, mm -hmm. they're baking, and they're taking less trips to the grocery store. So sometimes you might fall a little short of something you need to make your favorite recipe. There are some substitutes, though, and we'll take a look at those in our list right I now. I hate when this happens, but ma imagine <laughs> this. You're baking, right in the middle of baking, but you don't have any oil. Well, try applesauce. What? This is crazy talk. Applesauce? Mm -hmm. Use a one-to-one -one ration in things like banana bread, muffins, and brownies. Kate, you've done that before, right? Um, no. no. Well, try yeah. it out. I've heard of it, but I've never tried it. <laughs> so another baking hack, if you need cake flour but only have all-purpose flour, well, just remove two tablespoons from the recipe amount. Then replace that with two tablespoons of cornstarch. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Plain Greek yogurt can serve as a replacement mm. for mayonnaise. And I've, I've done, done this. this because I hate mayonnaise yeah, and sour too. cream in many dishes. So especially like sal salad dressings and cold salads like potato, eggs, and dip. Yeah, probably better for you too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it is. Oh, here's a hack from vegan baking. Replace an egg with flaxseed unless you're allergic to flaxseed. <laughs> to replace one egg, mix one tablespoon of flax seeds with two tablespoons of water, and then this is important, let it sit for about five minutes. Then you're good to go. Ooh, okay. So you can <laughs> substitute alcohol for broth. So if a batter or a bread mixture calls for beer, chicken broth can often work as a substitute. Now the same goes for wine. Red wine is best replaced with beef broth. So that isn't that the best part of it? Replacing the wine. <laughs> Putting the wine and the beer. Right? All right, there you go, foodies. Come back with the news after this break.